Welcome to Adventures in Consciousness, the interactive show that offers expansive conversation with pioneering new thought teachers and personal real-time guided journeys into the imaginal realm to access your soul's wisdom and discover how to live your greater story. Here is your host, human potentialist, soul mentor, and consciousness guide, Jennifer Ivanko. Hello and welcome. Welcome to another Adventures in Consciousness. So I'm excited to share with you today some um, more exploration of the realms of self. In our last episode, I introduced the layers of self, which are the layers of consciousness from the physical layer and the extended, um, our extended body, our physical body and our uh, energetic body to the realm of the psyche explored, the mind, which is the um, the mind, the intellect, and the ego, to the causal realm, which is the spiritual realm. So today, I'd like to share with you. Uh, I'd like to share with you the four realms of self. This is a um, just to give you a description of the areas I like to play with in human potential. So we'll go to this first um, video. Please enjoy. <coughs> Do you realize the next level of evolution, the possible human, is already seated within you? Accessing our greater human potential is a topic that has fascinated me for over 40 years. It's the idea that we're not limited by the past, and we're not limited by the circumstances we find ourselves in. Instead, it's the belief that within each of us lies a treasure of powerful resources, untapped abilities, and latent capacities waiting to be discovered. Imagine going on a journey, but not a journey to distant lands, a profound adventure into the depths of your own being, where hidden treasures of potential await. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the four realms of self a powerful framework for unlocking these greater powers. Imagine your consciousness as a vast landscape of uncharted territories, and your inner self is the hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. To explore these uncharted territories, we use meditation journeys, activating, integrating, and realizing seated potentials. This concept is not just about self-discovery, it's about the profound journey of self-mastery and transformation. Our first realm is the embodied self. It encompasses not only our physical body, but also the connection to the universe, the tangible, measurable world all around us. Within this realm, we learn to master our physical presence, to understand the profound connection between our bodies and the world and to unlock latent powers that can change our reality. The second realm is the Psyche Explored. This is where we connect with our inner crew and navigate the inner landscapes of our thoughts, our emotions, and our beliefs. It's the realm of our mind where we uncover the immense influence our Psyche has on our lives. Here we can tap into the vast potential hidden within our own thoughts our own emotions and consciousness. In the third realm, we embark on a journey to explore spiritual horizons unveiled. Here we ascend to the higher planes of consciousness, connecting with the transcendental aspects of our being. We discover our deeper purpose and our interconnectedness with all things. It's a realm where we awaken to our spiritual potential, accessing powers beyond the material world. Our final realm is the realm of mythic narratives and symbolic riches. It's a realm that holds the collective wisdom of humanity. A realm where we connect with archetypes and narratives that shape our identity and amplify our potential. Here we unlock the transformative power of symbols to change our life. And so, this journey through the four realms of self is about self-mastery, self-discovery, and transformation. It's about realizing that you are the greatest treasure you will ever find and that hidden powers within you are ready to be accessed. 
The journey is about exploring the uncharted territories within yourself and revealing the hidden treasures of your own greater potential. So I encourage you now to embark on your journey through these realms of self. Take the first step and you will be amazed at the powers you can unlock within. Your greatest potentials lie within you, waiting to be discovered and unleashed. So my question now is, are you ready? Are you ready to unleash your inner brilliance? The adventure awaits. So in our last episode, we talked about the, the physical, the embodied self. We explored a meditation where we went from the embodied self and ex uh, experienced the psychological, the, the mind, the intellect, and the ego. And then we went deeper into the spiritual realm. And it was just kind of a nice journey that tasted each one of these levels of consciousness. So today, we're going to go a little bit further. And we're going to play in the realms that the mythic symbolic realm is where you connect between the spiritual and the psychological. And then we're also going to do in the um, enhanced sensory perception. And this is where we can connect with our inner senses and our outer senses and kind of explore the way, all that we're receiving from the world around us. Because everything that comes into us as energy and information through our senses is the fuel and the juice that we create with, that we can manifest with. So the first meditation we're going to do, the first journey, is going to be a journey through the senses. Enjoy. So let's begin. With your eyes closed, bring your awareness to your breath. As you breathe in and out. change in your breath, just be aware of how you breathe. In and out. Now deepen in your breath just a little and notice your chest rise and fall with each breath. As you breathe in, imagine a sky blue color, a sky blue energy. And each breath out, going a little deeper, a little more into that peace and stillness. Finding with each breath, you're relaxing even more. It's time now to connect with your own higher guidance, with your IntelliKey. You may already be aware of this process. However, let's start back at the beginning, deepening and enlivening your connection with your own higher guidance. You may know this word, the IntelliKey, is a Greek word. It is one that Aristotle used when he said, it is the IntelliKey of an acorn to be an oak tree. We might say it is the IntelliKey of a baby to be a fully grown human being. But imagine now it is the IntelliKey of you to be fully realized in your higher purpose, in your higher destiny. You can think of IntelliKey as yourself as if you had a thousand years to develop and do all of your human homework. So I'm going to ask you now 
to put your hands on your lap with your palms face up and breathe, breathe into those hands. And I want you to imagine, and for the next few minutes accept that it is true, that standing opposite you is your own high self, your IntelliKey. IntelliKey is that part of you that gives you your deepest purpose, your deepest reason for being, your higher guidance. Imagine and accept that it is true for the time being that this IntelliKey is placing his or her hands over yours and breathe into that place. You might imagine that you're feeling some tingling, a little electricity, a subtle touch, whatever it is, continue building that connection with the one who loves you so much. IntelliKey knows your triumphs, your failings, who and what you are, and loves you unconditionally. You may even begin to feel the love that emanates from this high self, the one that we are calling the IntelliKey of you. And in this moment, you are so deeply loved, and there's more, you are being nurtured and nourished by this loving friend, the one that holds you in such wonder and awe and who loves you so deeply. Imagine looking up into the eyes of your own IntelliKey and seeing there the mirror of your own soul. IntelliKey holds all the dimensions of your soul. Very nice. Now I invite you to bring to mind a project a challenge, or something you'd like to accomplish. Could be writing a book, or getting in shape, whatever it is. When you have it, I'd like you to bring your awareness to the yearning you have inside, that desire to see it fulfilled. Is something that you have to share or something you need to receive. Get in touch with that feeling, the sensations, that desire. Just connecting with that feeling and the sense of something wonderful about to happen. And as you Hold that knowing in your heart, open to curiosity, a childlike delight, an anticipation of finding something new. When you have this feeling, this desire, this yearning inside, and that curiosity and excitement. I invite you to bring your hands out in front of you. Physically move your hands in front of you. And IntelliKey now offers into your hands an object. This object, this symbol, whatever it is, has the power to unlock seeded potentials and deep wisdom within you. To be activated, simply explore this object with all of your inner senses. 
you may want to have your journal ready as we do this together. Starting with the sense of sight. As vividly as you can, imagine what this symbol, this object looks like. Allow for any impressions to come to you. Shape, size, color. You may even want to look at it from different sides and notice the differences. And when you have it, begin to write or draw your impressions in your journal. I'll watch the time. Now imagine touching this object. What do you notice? Is it smooth or rough, hot or cold? Write down your impressions. I'll watch the time. Now sound, listen to your object. Do you hear words or music or is there silence? Begin to write or draw your impressions in your journal. I'll watch the time. Now smell, what is the aroma that comes to mind as you connect with your object? I'll watch the time.
Now taste. Is there a taste that comes to mind? I'll watch the time. Now, observe your feelings about this moment and about this object, and journal any impressions that come. Very nice. You've allowed yourself to be activated by this object, this gift. And now the integration will begin to happen effortlessly. With insights and understandings as you pay attention to synchronicities and dreams. For now, take your object in your hands, and as you begin to connect once again with your breath, hold the object with you. Begin to follow your breath in and out. In and out. As you breathe, begin to feel your body. How beautiful it is to have this body, to be able to create and manifest in this world. Breathing deeper, begin to make small movements, moving your toes and your fingers. And imagining now a red light, a warm glowing red energy flowing down over your body way to the ground. As you breathe and begin to move, this red energy flows down over your whole body, bringing clarity and warmth. This red energy feels so vibrant and good. Continue bringing movement slowly back. Breathe and stretch. And when you're ready, Slowly opening your eyes and coming back. Welcome back. So this was a um, dive into the inner realms for your senses, taking a symbol that you might have received or an object and exploring it. So you're opening up to that um, infinite potential and, and creativity. 
This is often something um, you can use, this type of meditation, where you have a project or a challenge you're facing or something where you want to come up with some new creative ideas to address it or to find a new solution. So what you do is you imagine the project and go into this meditation, sitting with your own higher self, and then imagine your higher self giving you an object that relates to that project. Explore it, open it up. And it doesn't have to relate uh, logically to the project. But what happens is you're activating inside these new ways of looking at things, this new information that you have. And so later when you come out of the meditation, either in drawing or being just random writing, or maybe even in your dreams and your daydreaming or synchronicities, you're going to start seeing new ideas and new solutions to your challenges. So this is just one way we, we play with um, inner senses in the meta realm. So we're going to go to break, and when we come back, I have another meditation where we're going to go deeper into that um, spiritual realm and into the uh, realm of the archetypes in the collective consciousness. So we'll be right back. Om Times TV There is no greater mystery in life than you. So why not take a fully experiential plunge into the depths of your being to uncover and retrieve all the secrets and wisdom your soul is crying out for you to know? If you enjoy Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation, you'll love Adventures in Consciousness, The Course. Join Jennifer in this unique 13-week series of journeys specifically designed to unlock the mysteries of yourself. Each week, you'll journey progressively deeper into the meta realm where, freed from the limitations of your mind, you'll get to play and explore the inner and outer reaches of your awareness. The next series of Adventures in Consciousness, the course, is starting soon. Find out more and stake your place at jenniferivanko.com. Imagine becoming a super influencer. Reinvent yourself. Invest in your brand and then manifest your success with a robust spheric approach. Ohm Times Media and Broadcasting offers a unique and multifaceted way to become the spiritual and conscious influencer you deserve to be by putting your message across our powerful platform with its proven record of integrity and excellence. Through our produced shows, Ohm Times offers the opportunity to become a social media TV personality, a radio show host, an Ohm Times magazine columnist, and a syndicated podcaster, all in one shot. By live streaming your show on Ohm Times TV and broadcasting it across the extensive Ohm Times radio and TV networks, you become more than a host. You become an ambassador and a force for positive change. Ohm Times. Open yourself to the possibilities. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Hello and welcome back. So at the before the break, we went into the realm of senses and we were um, exploring our, our inner senses to come up with new ideas for um, projects or for something we're working on. So now we're going to go into the um, archetypal realm into that collective in, uh, collective consciousness. So I hope you enjoy this meditation. So let's begin. With your eyes closed, let's bring your awareness to your breath. Not changing your breath, just be aware of how you breathe in and out. Now deepening your breath just a little and notice your chest rise and fall with each breath.
And now let's deepen into those long, slow belly breaths in through the nose. Hold. Out through the mouth. Hold. And continue like this. As you breathe in, imagine breathing in a light blue color, a sky blue energy. Filling your body with vital life force. And as you breathe out, breathe out tension and stress as if you're breathing out the color gray. Each breath in, a gentle wave of this energy, this sky blue. And each breath out, going a little deeper, a little more into that peace and stillness. Continuing that deep prana breathing just a little longer as we ask those beautiful soul questions. The first question who am I? Who am I really? Allow this question in your awareness and listen to any responses that come. Just observe. Who am I? The second soul question, what do I want? The answer can be material, physical, ethereal, emotional, whatever you would like to see fulfilled in your life. And the third soul question, what is my purpose? How do I serve? Now take another deep breath in and release, releasing all of the questions and any answers that may have come, allowing the universe to work out the details as you slip into a gentle resting rhythm with your breath. And notice the stillness now. the peace with your awareness on your breath 
that gentle resting rhythm. Breathing in and out. And with the next breath in, imagine you can follow that breath deep inside of you. Like a sky blue energy flowing into you. Going deeper and deeper into that stillness and peace. Imagine you can sense your own heart. That pulse. in that peace with just the pulse of your heart. Becoming aware now that at the center of your heart, the center of your being, there is a sphere of light, of white light. and you find yourself moving towards that light. So that you are surrounded by this light. And filled with a sense of love and peace. feeling a direct connection to the source of who you are and the source of all creation. Breathing this light in and feeling yourself held. Held by creation. And from within this sphere of light at your heart center. You can connect to any divine beings, any archetype. These can be angels, gods or goddesses, heroes or heroines, or even archetypes from the animal kingdom the bear, the wolf, the eagle. I'd like you to take the next few moments equal to all the time you need and choose three archetypes to join you now. Choosing archetypes with qualities that you most admire, the strength and protection of Archangel Michael, the wisdom of Athena, the unconditional love of Kuan Yin, Merlin, the alchemist, or even the strength and protection of a bear. Just choosing three archetypes that you are drawn to or that come to you in this moment. I'll watch the time.
and now coming back to that sphere of light, that pulsating sphere that is you at the center of your being and being there with the presence of these archetypes, these three that you've chosen. Breathing and floating on that breath within that sphere. And now this pulsating light that is the sphere begins to expand so that your whole body is light. And these divine partners, the archetypes you have chosen, are expanding with you. And now imagine that light, that sphere of light, begins to expand and fill the entire room. Continuing to expand now so that you are no longer in the room. The room is in you. Continuing the light growing, the sphere growing, so that your entire home is in the sphere. Expanding and growing that light, that pulsating sphere until the community you live in is now contained within the sphere. The streets, the houses, the cars, the people. All of nature exists within the sphere of pulsating light. As you continue to expand, now holding the entire state, and then your country. and continuing to expand now until the whole planet exists inside of you. Imagining all of the people, all of the nature, the animals, all of the land, the mountains, the trees, everything within you within the sphere of energy, of light. And all that exist are just different parts of you, like different organs in your body. Now say silently to yourself, I am not in the world. 
the world is in me. And whatever imbalances you see in the world of yours, you can ask those divine beings, those archetypal partners that are dancing in your energy field, ask them for help in fulfilling your desires. Ask them to bring peace, harmony, beauty and joy into the different parts of your cosmic self. Now continue to expand that sphere, that light body, to contain now the moon, the sun, the planets and the stars, and the galaxies, saying to yourself, I am not in the universe, the universe is in me. Now, slowly reducing the size of your sphere, coming back to the earth, and then back to your country, and back to your state, to your community. Now back to your home and then your room slowly reducing the size of your cosmic self until you once again experience your personal body And now imagining the trillions of cells within your body. All part of a living dance. Each cell an entire universe. Reminding yourself that your true being inhabits all these levels of creation. From the micro to the macro. From the cell and the atom to the universe. From your personal body to the cosmic body. And in each of these levels of your existence, you have the available divine energies, your archetypal partners that orchestrate the cosmic dance, giving you the ability to bring harmony into the elements, into the forces, and fulfill any desire.
Taking a deep breath in now. And bringing your hands to your heart center. And bowing in Namaste to those divine energies that are part of you. And now continuing with your eyes closed. Bringing your awareness to your breath. And following your breath back into your body. Beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And stretching just a little. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes and coming back. And as you come back, pick up your journal, your paper and pencil, and take a few moments to write down your experiences, the archetypes that joined you, and any other inspiration you may have had. Welcome back. I hope you take some time to write, journal, or, or even doodle. Just put pencil to paper. Better in your in your um, on real paper with a pencil or a pen than to do it in a computer. Because actually holding um, a paper, holding pencil or pen like this, your body has memories and, and um, has intelligences that will flow through as you actually draw or right. So I hope you um, enjoy these little plays uh, that we go into this meta realm because, you know, there's so much to discover that's inside of you. And it's really um, an untapped resource. This, this is really where we're going to find the ways to get through these challenging times we're facing right now. It's going to come from within you, from within each of us. And the more we can play together, you know, with your friends and other people in this kind of energy, the greater our becoming will be, the easier it will be to evolve um, because it is going to take the collective, the collective energy. So I hope you join me for more of these journeys into the meta realms and we'll be back next time. Until then, if you um, would like, you can check out my website at jenniferivanko.com where you'll find other um, meditations and journeys and, and ways to explore. Until next time, namaste.